There is breaking news from the world of astronomy. Something so extraordinary it could change everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. For centuries, humanity has stared at the stars, haunted by one question. Are we alone? Now, astronomers believe they may finally have a clue. A clue so powerful, so compelling, that it could bring us closer than ever to answering one of humanity's greatest mysteries. At the center of this revelation is the James Webb Space Telescope, a machine designed not just to look farther than any telescope before, but to peer into the very atmospheres of distant planets. And recently, Webb turned its gaze toward a mysterious world known as K218b. K218b is no ordinary exoplanet. Located about 124 light-years away in the constellation of Leo, it orbits a small, cool red dwarf star. This world is what scientists call a sub-Neptune, roughly 2.6 times the size of Earth, with conditions that suggest it could be covered in vast oceans. It's not rocky like our home planet, nor is it a gas giant like Neptune. It's something in between, with a dense, hydrogen-rich atmosphere and, potentially, liquid water beneath. For years, researchers suspected that this planet might be special. But until Webb came online, we lacked the technology to see its atmosphere in detail. That has now changed. When Webb observed K218b, its instruments detected something unexpected. Possible traces of a chemical called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this gas is only produced by living organisms, mainly tiny marine plankton drifting in our oceans. There is no known way for it to be created naturally through non-biological processes. That is what makes this discovery so astonishing. Dr. Niku Madhusudan of Cambridge University, who led the research, describes the data as both thrilling and humbling. According to his team's analysis, the likelihood of dimethyl sulfide being present in the atmosphere is above 50%. While that doesn't yet count as proof, it is far more than chance. If confirmed, it would mark the first time in history that we've detected a chemical on another planet strongly linked to life. But scientists are careful not to overstate the case. Finding this gas doesn't mean we've discovered intelligent beings on K218b. In fact, if life exists there, it may be microscopic, simple organisms clinging to survival in alien oceans, much like the early life forms that first appeared on Earth billions of years ago. Yet even the tiniest alien microbe would rewrite our understanding of biology and confirm that Earth is not the only cradle of life in the cosmos. So how exactly did Webb uncover this hidden signature across such an impossible distance? The answer lies in transit spectroscopy. K218b happens to pass directly in front of its star from our point of view here on Earth. Each time it does, a sliver of starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere before reaching Webb's mirrors. Molecules in that atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths of light, leaving behind faint but distinct fingerprints. By analyzing those fingerprints, scientists can determine which gases are present. Through this technique, Webb not only spotted hints of dimethyl sulfide, but also confirmed high levels of methane and carbon dioxide, alongside a notable absence of ammonia. These combinations suggest the presence of a liquid water ocean beneath the atmosphere, an environment that could, at least in theory, support life. If these findings are validated by future observations, the implications are staggering. The discovery of alien life, no matter how primitive, would be one of the most profound moments in human history. For thousands of years, our species has imagined neighbors among the stars. Today, we stand closer than ever to proving they exist. Yet, there is also a sobering reality. K218b is unimaginably far away. At the speed of our Voyager spacecraft, which has been traveling for nearly half a century, it would take more than two million years to reach it. In other words, this world is beyond our physical reach. Our only connection to it is through the light that has traveled across space to tell us its story.
Still, the discovery sparks not only scientific excitement but also the deepest layers of human imagination. Could we one day build telescopes so advanced they capture actual images of alien landscapes, glittering oceans, cloud formations, or even the faint glimmer of continents on worlds like K218b? Could our descendants design spacecraft that harness technologies beyond today's comprehension? Warp drives, antimatter propulsion, or solar sails spanning kilometers, to shorten the impossible gulf between stars? For now, these are dreams of tomorrow, resting at the border between science fiction and the science yet to come. And yet, history reminds us that today's impossibilities often become tomorrow's achievements. But alongside wonder, there must be caution. Some scientists urge restraint before we rush into declaring ourselves to the cosmos. If life does exist out there, whether microbial or intelligent, we cannot predict how it might behave, nor how our actions might ripple across the universe. The question isn't only, are we ready to meet them? But also, are they ready to meet us? Just because we have the tools to search does not mean we are prepared for the consequences of discovery. So humanity waits, caught between excitement and humility, between our hunger for knowledge and the responsibility it demands. What kind of life could truly exist on K218b? Could it be microscopic organisms floating in deep oceans, leaving faint chemical whispers in the atmosphere? Or could it be something entirely alien, beings with structures, metabolisms, and survival strategies so different from Earth's biology that we might not even recognize them as alive? Life could emerge in ways we cannot imagine, shaped by the unique chemistry and physics of its world. If we do find even the smallest trace of alien biology, the implications will stretch far beyond astronomy. It would mean life is not a rare accident of Earth, it is a natural outcome of the universe. Every star could host worlds teeming with ecosystems, every galaxy alive with hidden biospheres. And if life is common, then so too might be intelligence, civilizations rising, exploring, and perhaps struggling with the same questions we now face. The discovery of dimethyl sulfide on K218b may be only a hint, a whisper in the cosmic dark. But it is enough to remind us that the search for life has crossed a new frontier. For the first time in history, we are no longer guessing blindly. We have the tools to look across unimaginable distances and detect the fingerprints of biology itself. This moment is not just about science, it is about perspective. For thousands of years, humans gazed upward, telling myths about gods and spirits in the heavens. Today, through the James Webb Space Telescope, we are beginning to replace those myths with knowledge, real evidence that life may not be confined to our fragile blue world. Whatever the outcome, one thing is undeniable. We are living in the dawn of discovery. The cosmos is no longer a silent backdrop, it is a stage filled with mysteries waiting to speak. And perhaps, for the very first time, we are standing at the threshold of an answer that will reshape everything, the realization that Earth is not alone, and that life, in one form or another, is written into the very fabric of the universe.